I'll call this I'm using camera on now, that's what I'm using anyway for most. Okay. <clears throat> Hello mate. Hiya. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Um just getting uh I, I don't you can't use a camera. No, I So you have to turn your camera off because it is, it's gonna be a bit of a um issue with it. So because uh, yeah, because I have to use, use a group call in it, obviously. Um, and your audio sounds very, very bad. I don't know what it is. That's it. It's great. Cool sounds, sounds. Ugh. Is the camera not on now, Ted? Um, no. Uh, can you put your? Is your? Can you use? Can you put your camera on? I can't put, I can't put mine on. No. Skype must be having. Skype must be as it is. Must be. It must have changed. <coughs> well, why does it sound so bad? No warning, sir. Sounds really, really bad. But me, I just are everyone. You, you, you sound better now. Right, I just okay. Um, um. let me try that. Right. So okay, you, I can see you. I can hear you a little bit better, Alan. It keeps drifting right. off for some reason. I don't know what where it is. Right. So, are you still there, Mark? <coughs> I am. Oh, I can hear you fine now. Speak again, Alan. Hello. You sound a little bit muffled. I think I say is that better? No. No. It sounds like you. It sounds like you're a little whale. I was like, is that a bit? Oh, that'll do. Yeah. So, yeah. I think I think your I think your mic's uh, not broken. Is that a bit? Like, yeah, I think it is. It's all right. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Sorry about that. It's all right. So we might have a little bit of a jerky problem with it and stuff. We're still waiting, we're still waiting for David. David's <laughs> next. Tell him to get off his lazy ass and get on scat. Who, David? <laughs> <laughs> is that you, Mark? That's Mark, aye. It How is. How are you doing? Yeah. Hey, are you alright? I'm okay, thanks. Yes. Where's Gemma? Gemma's here. Gemma's there. Oh, she's, hello, Gemma. She's, hello. Uh, she's away somewhere. She's currently in the front room at the moment. Um, right. okay. Well, I'll tell you what, then. Let's get started. Let's, let's, let's get started anyway. Um, and then I believe you have a question. Meters? Aha. Uh -huh. Regarding uh, Hammersmith. Uh, uh, no, it's actually it's about Queen Forever first. I don't really see a local radio station. Yes. And I'm not really impressed. You're not really impressed with it? No, I just, I just feel it's as, as useless as the Queen Box compilation. Aha, uh -huh. right. Um. But, I, I mean, I kind of, yeah, I understand it's not a great hit top, you see. It's not a compilation album. It's just three new songs are added for the CD release of it. Right. Uh, and I mean, you know, from my point of view, I like it, actually. I like, I'm you, all the you wouldn't hear, you've only heard the CD versions, a pair of you. You wouldn't yeah. hear the yeah. vinyl version. Mm. Oh, no. Fucking takes your breath away, the vinyl oh. version. Yeah, the four, the four, oh. four vinyl set. Because he's got the, uh, he's got the, 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 the triple, the four vinyl set. He's also got the etched twin single as well. Right. Good. And that's really good. Uh, oh. but, a CD. I, yep. I find the track list a bit questionable. I mean, why why is Drowse on it, for example? Um. I. I think a better choice it would was, be. Mm. It was meant to sell in the sense that it had to be songs that were unknown, so I know people could get so people could get into Queen. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I think you take my breath away. Would be a better choice from. From the and well, that was issued on the deluxe, deluxe edition, but the deluxe edition sucks. Right. Right. It was meant, meant to be all ballads as well. That's the reason why Aye. they put all ballads on there. Uh -huh. To make it all like a sort of like a love compilation is what it was supposed to be. You know? yeah. But I mean, for, 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 for the release of it anyway, well, EMI did a good job of that actually, and they re released a load of that. For what they did, I, I'm, I was happy with it actually, because I liked the way that it was different. And it's not a, it's not like a, a great it's not a hits package it's not like the not the stuff we know. It's kind of like the early, if early Queen fans want to get into that youngsters, mm -hmm. they're going to say, "Well, what's this one? What's this one?" And, and they'll go, "Oh, we'll get the album." And that's why they brought it out. You know, they brought it out because it was 
2011 yeah. remasters came out, and it was where to where they're from anyway. Yeah. Um, but I don't like. I didn't like the way they did. Um, they did play the game because they cut the beginning off. Bad play the game, didn't they? The deluxe edition. Oh, um, yeah, actually, they didn't really well. There was just it was terrible. But for the release of the, the box set, I mean, it's just. I thought they was actually going to put the play the game one with uh, him out the Bee Gees on because there was rumours of that being on there. But... Well, there was a take apparently of of um, Barry Gibb on it, or Andy was on it. Uh, I never knew that. What? I never knew that. Yeah. Yes. I never knew that. One of the Gibb brothers was on it actually. Oh. That's a demo. Also, Let Me Live is still another one. We've got, they've got a track out because that's oh, another one with uh, Rod Stewart on it and I... Elton John. Um, Elton John plays on the piano. Yeah, never, ever, ever, ever seen that version. I only saw a snippet of it on YouTube, but it's like four seconds and it's like, well, what's the point to put it on there? That'd be very interesting. Eh? That'd be very interesting. Yes, yep. it's, it is yep. actually on YouTube, that. So check it out for four seconds. It's, it's very short, but it's it's interesting. It's interesting. Isn't you Good Brothers? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There was we was going around a lot. That were hawking around. Um, <laughs> anyway, so let's discuss about this new version of Hammersmith. Uh, Mark actually just mentioned something at me off off camera, but if you want to repeat what you said, Mark, uh, this is interesting. Well, I did read. Um, this was like a year be about two years before this was even mentioned to be released. This was mentioned when they were actually broadcasting this on the BBC channels. Because at first they were broadcasting it on BBC One, and then later on they started broadcasting it on BBC Three, the digital channels. So what they, what uh, Brian May and Roger Taylor had, they had some sort of like interview about the actual show. And apparently, Brian May and Roger Taylor were saying that when they were recording the actual show, the BBC, they couldn't, they didn't get in time to record the last two tracks, which were the encore because they had packed up all their gear, all the camera equipment, before right. they could film the last two tracks, as in Seven Seas of Rye, and see what a fool I've been. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've heard that before, Mark. That's right. Yeah. So, um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to basically clarify what, what, what was said. From my point of view, the Hammersmith release, um, I've done it on Queensville last week. Um, getting lots of people about it, actually, 120 views has been pretty good. There's a lot of women that are in about it, and... I mean, I understand why they're doing it for, but for that purposes of the release of it, it's just, well, you know, let them do it. But Well, can you, can you, uh, to me, shall I tell you what my gripe is on it, Tess? Yeah, My sure. gripe really with the Hammersmith Odeon thing is the fact that, first of all, on the extras, there isn't many at all, hardly. They could have pulled out a lot more extras for the actual second dvd if they wanted to yeah exactly uh second of all is why the artwork i mean the artwork is not exactly the top-notch artwork in my opinion. the artwork's horrible i think i think the way i see it is that i'm sick of the all right freddie is a legend and everything but why is it we've always got freddie pictures every it's live it's too much it. every it? live album they've done this five times uh, that the hungry one we were Rock You, Rock Montreal, which is the same Montreal. one. And then there was the, the other one that came out, the, the, oh, the Rainbow one as well. Oh, which is, which is I, I, I still think the Rainbow one was the best one they ever brought out, actually. Because it was it was amazing. I mean, the set that we, we did on your, your, the, video, <coughs> the video we filmed um, last year, at Mark, when I was in London, was, there was a hell of a set that was really good. The artwork was, was great. Amazing. Beautiful inside great as well. Artwork. How I did it. Um, but yeah, but yeah, just from my point of view, I I wouldn't really splash up 108 quid on the box set. Seriously, that's way too expensive. Because I I personally see yeah. better artwork on bootlegs. I uh, Alan this Alan, do you know what there's, you know what's in the, the box set? Day. Alan, you know you know you know the box set that they're releasing now of this one. Right. Shall I tell you what's in it? Okay. One DVD, one Blu-ray, one CD, one scarf, one 80-page booklet. And a box that lifts a box that lifts up for hundred eight pound. That's nice. way too much. That's, that's, uh, that's just like why? I hate, I hate these multi formats. They're really fleecing us. It's, uh, I know people would just stick with the Blu-ray version. And just buy that. But it's like you'll be disappointed though to edit though, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, you look at one version of it. <laughs> uh, hey, what? 
Do you get one vision in the box set? One vision. <laughs> so, <laughs> one vision. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Yeah. No, okay. that's fine. No, 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 no. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but two documentaries. I mean, that's like, well, why are you reusing footage from uh, the Whistle All Great Whistle Test again? It's like, right. why? Like, come on. See the eighty page booklet. What does that consist of? It's all the it's all the backstage photographs of the of the right. show, the Hammersmith show itself. So yeah. I'm kind of like a bit. I'm a bit sort of. Hmm, um and R and saying yeah no no yeah I'm mixed mixed feelings with it really to be honest. Why did why did the BBC for only show a fifty minute edit of it? Well, actually, that's what Mark will tell you right now. Actually, about that. Yeah, they edited it due to time restrictions on uh, the channel at the time. Um, I think if I remember rightly, because I I have actually got an uncut version that was broadcasted back in nineteen seventy five. Which I've actually got. I've actually got that on DVD, believe it or not, because I managed to get a bootleg of it. Yeah. And and that one's all the way through. It's even got White Queen as it began. It's got Ogre Battle. Of course, them two tracks were actually submitted away from the mm-hmm. actual rebroadcast a few years back. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sure was. It went from now I'm here straight into Bohemian Rhapsody. And That's even right. when I even when I was watching that, I was thinking, what's happened to Ogre Battle? And uh, yeah, yeah. Where, where, where are those? <laughs> I tell you, what I have Mark. I've told the Tesla's. I've got a BBC One recording of the complete show that was on. There was a Christmas concert special, just just after. Well, just about Christmas '89 on Radio One. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Is that last year's one you mean? No, it was a way back to 1989. It was about the 27th of December. It was broadcast on Radio One. Oh, right, is... okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I remember. I remember hearing about that. And I think he's... because my dad recorded that. Yeah, you did. That's right. Remember, I remember you telling me this when I was in London. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, my dad recorded that Radio One. I think that was the same <coughs> actual show. In fact, because yeah. the thing is, BBC for some reason hold every rights to that particular concert. I so they They've yeah. bro- broadcasted that heck of a lot over the years. I know. Yeah. yeah. All, all the posts in the series for the police, for example. Yeah. It's, you know, the the thing that sort of made me laugh, really, was the fact that last year in 2014, Adam Lambert done the same sort of thing um, with Queen last year, and then they kind of bring this up. Is it a way of saying, right, we'll, we'll give you this as in Freddy, and then next year we'll probably do the Adam Lambert one and yeah. release that one. It wouldn't <laughs> surprise me with Queen Productions these days. I would, I would not be very surprised whatever they do next year. I mean, now it's called, uh, it's anniversary next year, and um, you know now they're going to be doing this other business going on. I mean, I, I'm very surprised that I mean when I when I did a conversation last time saying should Queen call it a day, and I think they just should to be honest because it's sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just saying I can as well. Yeah, yeah. You're breaking up a little bit, Alan, but it's okay because you're too broadband, it's all right. Um, yeah, because I'm thinking it's just, it's, it's not really, it's not the band anymore. It's just Brian and it's, going out. It has and, lost its spirit, there's no two it, ways about it. It has, it has. The way I see it is that maybe Brian, Brian should, heck, I keep thinking every time I see Brian May and that bloody bitch, Kerry Ellis, all the time, I kind of think, <laughs> God, why? Why are you uh, doing work with her? Go and do a solo album. We want you to come do on. a solo album. Yeah, man. that was planned. That was supposed to be planned this year, but it's now off the cards. I mean, whether it's going to be out next year, I don't know. It better be out because. Uh... And, a, and a few months ago, Tez, mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember me actually uh, showing you on Facebook at one time mm-hmm. that um, apparently Brian May was going to actually release Brixton Academy on DVD. Yeah, I heard that rumor going around, well, and the people posted it. It's been, del- I don't know. Nobody, What's happened to that? No one said. Sort of... it, that was supposed to be released as a set of the CE DVD re- re- remastered and bonus footage and everything else. But you see, what's, what, what else was occurring next year is there was going to be a, um, a documentary made of Cozy Powell. Brian May's oh. involved with that next year. Oh, so ew. it's a two hour documentary that filmed um, with the permission of his wife and also with the, the permission of, the, of, of, of uh, Polydor. And they've gone up interview Martin Birch and you know all the great stuff he did with him, and they're going to be doing a two-hour documentary of his life next year. So that that was posted this week on uh, Thingy. So that was actually from Hard 
the hard rock or team rock it was. But they yes is confirmed, so um, look out for that next year. There's actually some footage now on YouTube if you want to look it up, Ted's as well. Mm -hmm. That there's actually footage of Brian May and Cozy Powell doing another world in a, in the studio. Yeah, and they were actually recording it. I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. And this is actually the last footage of them actually playing together. Uh, I, was, I think I understand that was the last re track recorded before he died. I think I thought pretty thin it was. Because it was a hell of a song when it came out. The, the remix he did was just incredible. We took the bits, bits of all the way from Memphis into that track. was fantastic oh. when it came out. It's uh, really, it, it's just phenomenal. Um, I mean, from my point of view, I mean, I mean, obviously, we Queen fans are just reading this a lot now. And uh, I do actually want to thank uh, Alan for coming on, actually, because this is interesting. He likes these conversations. With, he hasn't been in conversation with us for a while. <laughs> so, <laughs> moving on from that one, um, something else that, uh, is is in the is also in the pipeline. I understand is that is this um, High Park is supposed to be getting released next year. Oh, yeah, they're doing 40th anniversaries at the moment. It seems. Yep. Uh -huh. They're carrying on with that because they know there's a market now. Hard yes, High Park is 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 the next one apparently coming out um, at last. About time. Yeah, yeah I think about... I think it is. It should be released. It's M more so than this Hammersmith thing, really. Yeah, of course. I yeah, yeah. Hammersmith is great. Um, but the releases that come out at the moment, it's just, I think that's what they're concentrating now on when I was 40th. Now, and then, the other news that happened also was Bohemian Rhapsody's getting a 12 inch single release for the first time. And I was really ex expecting that to be a hell of a thing. Now, I would love to see that in Purple Vinyl if it ever gets done, but. I'm going to say that, is it going to be Purple Vinyl? It's supposed to be. Um, I want to know what the uh, artwork's going to be like. Right. The Evan said. Yep. Under, I think it's under scrutiny Hello? from Gary. I think it's from under scrutiny from Gary. Uh, Gary Taylor. That's his thing. I think it'd be great to actually have a nice purple edition of it on vinyl. Definitely, though. definitely, definitely. Yeah, I think I think it's a good idea to actually release that. Yeah. For its fortieth anniversary. Yeah. It's released next week. I mean, it's as old as you, Ted, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is, um, but yeah, that's that's the one that uh, that I'm, I'm really looking forward to that one coming out. Oh, it's really wonderful, and I think H and V are going to stock that one as well. Um, so H and V is going to stock that one as, as their thing on it. Right, we've yeah, lost. Definitely. All right, we've lost Alan. Alan's. Don't know. We have his back. He's back. He's in, Where's he gone? He's in, that's gone weird. <laughs> Where's he gone now? Don't know. <laughs> he's gone. He come back. Oh, he might, oh no, he might, may have gone downstairs to see Helen. I think. Um, just to see what's going. On. Anyway, right. So, uh, where's our man uh, David? He's not yeah, here. He should be due, hopefully. Although saying that, he gets uh, he gets a chance to come on at uh, half seven. I think he'll be here. So that's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, going back to you anyway for a bit since we've talked about that for a while. Um, yeah, um, I mean, the main thing for me, I mean, as long as they keep doing these 40th anniversaries, mm -hmm. we'll probably end up getting a nice, decent release next year with the Hyde Park thing, as we've already discussed. Yep. But the fact of the matter is, what sort of extras are they going to put with it again? Mm. I dread them. <laughs> yeah, I do as well. Um, but I, I think uh, that... Yeah, I think from my point of view, it's it's just a matter of waiting, uh, see what Mister what our um, um, Liverpool guy does, um, you know, the world. Jim Jenkins. Jim Jenkins. See what Jim Jenkins comes out with. Well, the last time I spoke to Jim Jenkins, they were in the making of Hyde Park for the last couple of years. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. They've get, they've still got to go through a lot of footage though, um, getting it all HD and all that. Crap and all that I think all the noise. I think it'd be nice to see some of the backstage footage because I know that's all on YouTube. Yeah, with Kenny Everett yes. arriving there and yes. all that. I think that would be nice on on a DVD. That would be for me amazing for it to do. Um, yeah, we seriously would. Uh, and a, a quick question, Ted. Sure. Is is that actual footage of Brian May and Roger Taylor um, interview that's going to be on the Ham Smith Odeon? Is that the same bloody footage of Bob Harris? Interviewing Freddie and all that. Yeah, all this. Well, it was actually comes, on the sound stage. But how comes there's no talk of Freddie being interviewed or John? I've got this clue. 
It's bloody stupid. You know what they should have done? Why couldn't they have just made that as a, as a, as a bonus feature to make it all uncut and just stop pissing around with it? Because there are people putting... Because fan-made now, fan-made, like Queen Romania, he's had to try and put all that footage together and try to make it into one continuous video. But it's still, they've lost a lot of love anyway. So nobody, yeah, nobody, nobody can I find it. I have seen that. So it's like, I'll tell you what um, I, I was talking about also on uh, Queen's Hill this week was um, a video called um, Live in Caracas from Queen. Yeah, which is I, I, I clicked on it. I, seen it. I saw a little bit of it last night. Actually, yeah. Which is actually really, it's a really raw concert. It is. Sounds I amazing. Mean, there's, there's nothing on it that's sort of like uh, made it sort of like sound better than what it is. Mm. It's all mm. raw. It's really good. And that's how, that's and, how things should be. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I do, I do, I do have to say that I do, I do respect um, Justin Shady Smith for doing the work he's doing on audio and Chris Fredrickson as well. Yeah, there's certain stuff that does need a bit of work on, but sometimes yeah. they go a bit over the top on it. You uh, know? When they did like the the Wembley one, the audio for Wembley, uh, I kind of was, I wasn't impressed with it. It was just too. It sounded like I was, I was like in wa- it was like waves. I thought it sounded like I was in waters. It was like I was, well, I was hearing like. Is that the first night or the second night, you mean? That's both. I thought the first night actually sounded a bit better than the second night. I like, I like the Friday concert better. Yeah, it's I've always said that. Better. But it's I've, such an I, overrated show, really, isn't it? Yeah. It's so yeah. overrated. But um, for me, I think the best sound-wise concert they've brought out probably was that, the Rainbow one last year. Mm. It just worked, you know? All the way through. Yeah. Well, I, I it, think this... This Hammersmith one, okay, it sounds okay in certain aspects, but it's nothing new, you know? Yeah, exactly. I've just had a Gary now at the conversation, but Gary's having his tea at the moment, so... Um, but he's uh, going to join us later on audio when, he's, when he gets his when he gets around to it. Uh, well, for me, the pipeline at the moment with Queen this year has just been pretty good, actually. Um, quiet, though, for the, for, the, for the news and for everything we've had to do. And the vinyl box set, what do you think of that? <laughs> David's going to be having his own word about that later, I'll tell you. I've got I've got three vinyls from the 2011 remar- uh, 2015 remarks. Yeah. I bought them on Discogs. Colour- and I got oh, you bought them on Discogs? Week. Oh, nice one. Yeah, I got them this this week. I've got a Sweet. Night of the Opera. Brilliant. I, got, I, I had to get a Night of the Opera because it's 40th anniversary. Oh, one. cool, yeah. Definitely have to get I them. got the works, which is a nice... I mean, the label's different as well. Yeah. It's a black label on the vinyl mm-hmm. rather than a red label. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've also got Made in Heaven, which is a double vinyl yeah, this time. Yeah, which is about time I had a... It's about time I had a double release of that, actually, because it was, it was time to get it out properly without editing and copy that. But, yeah, yeah, it was edited. It's a 22, 27-minute um, original... version of uh, The Quietness and stuff. But Freddie's... Heaven, we even got track 13 all the way through on yeah the, that's what i mean that's, that's what i'm about they, yeah. they, it's about time i did that it's uh, i mean when we came out originally they never put it on because i think it was a little bit they, they didn't want to put this double album it's going to cost more but now they bought this one out now for 20 quid it's like well you've bought a good deal there haven't you i actually it's got like, mine for 13 quid <laughs> that wasn't too bad eh? that's why i like discogs this was is good eh? it's good are you, are, you, are, you, are you finally getting back into buying vinyl then yeah, I, I had to, when I moved back into my, my new place now, I'm mm-hmm. kind of sort of, I thought, oh, I need to start collecting vinyl. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. One of my friends actually from Sunderland, he's, I've, asked, I've actually asked him, I've recommended him as well mm. to join uh, to join, to join join Discogs and he's joining now. And Al, Alan's also going to be joining Discogs now because he got a record player the other week. Um, he got one. Yeah. So I sent him, I sent him Chris's, I sent, his, I sent him uh, that one. And he's uh, he's tested it and it works <coughs> fine. But the only thing is, it's got like this sort of drone noise in it. But I said to him, "You got to get a denoiser for it, obviously, just to noise it out." So setting that, and he, he loved it. It was great. So he's got vinyls now to, to treat himself. That's the best way to do it, I think. Yeah. I mean, vinyls making a big comeback anyway. And you and you and what's this thing about? You've ditched your CDs. Well, I've not ditched every single one of them. I've kept yeah. a couple of them, but okay, I've, okay. a lot of them I had to clear out. Mm. It's due to space, first of all. Uh-huh. Second of all, I mean, I would never clear out my vinyl. It would either be CDs no, or vinyl. No, no, no. CDs would have to go. <laughs> yeah, because so CDs... I cleared, not... out, I cleared out a few of my CDs. Yeah. I had to. Are you... Uh... Than... Yeah, sorry. Go on. Sorry, other than that, I mean, I've still got my vinyl. Cool. That's the main thing. Are you uh, going back to the um, 
um, the London um, record, record, record fair next year. Record fair. What yeah. this this year or next year? Next year. Um, if you want to go, I'll, I'll probably come and join you if you want. We're thinking. Me and Chris are are thinking next year because this year, next this weekend we've got the Hip Whippy Goth Festival. It's on Saturday and Sunday and Friday, so we're kind of away from. I'm away from tomorrow. So I'm not back till Monday, but we're thinking next year because we're going to save up the money now to come down to London again. Well, if if you come down a weekday, yeah, down down that's to London. That's what we're planning to do. Yeah, if you plan it a weekday, then maybe you can even stay over at mine for for a day. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. I've got a new place now, so yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah, yeah. yes, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I am very happy for you. Yeah. I am very happy. You have. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> main thing for me was really. Because I mean, I had my band stuff and everything, which I'm, I'm, I've even got a rehearsal by the way on Friday. Nice one. I'm um, starting the band thing again. Good. But the only thing is, my guitar player is going back to Italy on the first mm. of November, mm. so I'm okay. in a bit of a pickle at the moment. Ooh, okay. So, have you tried going onto the local bands on the internet and uh, trying to advertise? <laughs> at the advertise? moment, I mean, at the moment. I'll think about that later down the line. Good. But at the cool. moment, I was just trying to get myself settled down. Finding a new place and what have you. That's good. Know. Well, that's the first that thing you need to do, really. Is you know, that's the first priority you need to sort out anyway. It's what, it's what you need to do. But yeah. no, I'm I'm very glad you've uh, I'm very glad you settled in. Now it's nice to be somewhere you you live in. And, yeah, it's great. Mm-hmm. it's great. Did I tell you David Roest, as in David Roasty, uh-huh. as we call him? Mm-hmm. Um, he was actually mentioned in one of the Queen Fan Club magazines. I heard about this. I I I I didn't know if it was true, but I went. I just looked around and was like, "No way!" And it's like, "Yeah, because you know, do you know Van Seek or whatever his name is, Leander, um, who's actually a friend of his or something?" Oh, that Some oh that guy. Yeah, I remember that? Yeah, yeah. He he compiled the Queen Forever documentary over in Holland. I remember. Yes, brilliant. And, par- and apparently, I mean, even I know that David got involved with some some form of that. He did he helped in it. And yes. that's the reason why he got mentioned in the yeah. uh, docu- on the actual about the documentary yeah. in the Queen Fan Club magazine. That thing was great when I saw it. Um, it's no longer available to view, now, <coughs> which is a shame. But it's on YouTube. But but it's, in, it's obviously not in English. But um, I I really liked it. It was so different. It was it was a lot better, and it was a lot. It was. It must have been stuff that they were doing at the time on tour, or either uh, in Holland they were doing a tour in Holland somewhere. When the works album was getting released at the time, um, you know. Well, according to the Queen Fan Club magazine, mm-hmm. there was originally it was originally going to be an hour and a half long, but yeah. they had to cut it down to an hour yeah. for the broadcast. Yeah. So I'm wondering if one day that might actually come up as being released somewhere in Holland one day. Well, um, if that's going to be a, a bootleg or if it's going to be out official. Why doesn't he get on the blower to RTL4 in over there in Holland and ask them? You know, yeah, they, they can I do that. They can do a deal with that. You know, be a great just, release, definitely. Be I mean, there's still so much unfinished footage that yeah. we haven't even seen, even on that particular documentary. Anyway. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've, I've noticed that when that was compiled and <coughs> this thingy, uh, it was just very bloody, bloody awesome. It was so cool. Um, I don't know if you've ever. I don't know if we're going to go back. Pretty further back now, David R. Fuller, who you know, I respect that guy very much <coughs> his videos and things. You, have you seen the uncut version of the Miracle video? Is that the one with the uh, kids doing it all the way through? No, no, sorry, it's the sorry, it's the breakthrough making of making of, uh huh. Uh, not the, the Miracle one I, Express, not the one I posted. This is the VHS footage. I think that's the Miracle Express one, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yeah, I've, I saw little yeah. bits of it, but I haven't yeah. seen it all the way through. David's, no. David's posted a full version of it on now. <coughs> it's remarkable how I'm very glad. I'm very, I'm very glad that they that obviously the footage that I had on the DVD it, it was cut down. I mean, I understand reasons why, but they should have really have put it all on because it was just a, it was a bit longer to put on as that anyway. Uh, but seeing that for a couple of days, it was like, um, you know, yeah. It's, it's, it's interesting. I don't know. If... Quali- it's actually some good quality interviews on that as well. It is, yeah, it is. It's, it's, well, <coughs> it's well worth it for what it's uh, what it's for anyway. You know, for what's Agreed. worth. 
It's good. Um, have you seen the Jamie Mears uh, selling page on Discord? I have, yes, yes, I have. I've, I've been. I'm on there all. I'm on, I'm on Discord every day. <laughs> yes, I have seen. It. Yes, I have. I have. I have. Um, I'd love somebody just to try and buy that four phases of them sitting in the seventies DVD. That looks really, really good. I would that, love actually. somebody to. I would just say to them, if someone, if someone's got the money to get that, buy it from the Russian Federation. I would so want to find out if that is well worth. I think it's well worth getting. Yeah, it's a double CD and DVD or something like it that. It is yes, yes. It's four. It's actually four DVDs. Four DVDs. Yes, I think it's double sided. I think. Uh, but Amazing. Yeah, it's cool. Um, well, Jamie Miz is actually selling um, two, two copies of Queen Forever, and I think it's Let Me in Your Heart again. Yeah, it's Let Me in Your Heart again. The uh, promo CDs. Yeah. Well, all all three of them. Yes. And it sounds interesting because apparently there is um, a signed note from Jim, Jim, Jim uh, Jim Beach. That's Jim Beach. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Apparently there's a signed note in it. So I was thinking, that ain't the same one that I saw when I was in... Do you remember when I showed you before it was actually released? Yes. The one in the record shop? I remember, yes. When we were down, uh, one of them anyway. Yeah. So where's this one come from? The one with the signed Jim Beach uh, uh, letter? Um, well, that's probably come from uh, from the press office itself. Um, what, Universal, you mean? I have got a few feelings come from Universal when we visited them that day. Um, I actually, oh, I you, you should have got the message. You should have. I posted a message to you, you know, by by YouTube, and I forgot to tell you about it. <laughs> I said, I said, when what was coming out again? Queen Forever or something? What was Queen Forever that's coming out? I said, I said, you should have gone down to a Universal's <laughs> doors, knocked on the doors, and got a free copy of it. If you knocked on the door, oh, say I'm a queen, to just give you passive your queen pass. <laughs> Please oh, just need you to give them that. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll probably, I'll probably do a lot more better work than bloody Gary Taylor's doing yeah. these days. Yeah, oh, God, I'm oh, my God. You heard, of, you heard about the videos, haven't you? Yeah, they get thing. worse than I have to, I have to, I have to go through a little bit of a, of a, of a inside of a, inside of a time zone or something with him. Fucking nuts. It's like he's on some psychedelic drug or something. He's had, he's, is it? I mean, it is, is worse. I mean, come on, it is. I mean, I mean, Gary will probably say something about it because he's he, he he knows he knows about it anyway. I mean, Gary's editing is bad. <laughs> it is bad. It's terrible. Do you ever find that the music kind of ble- sort of distracts you from it's what not, he's saying? As do well? you know? Do you know who uh, the guy who posted the music to him does it on a MIDI system? It's a MIDI <laughs> recorder. It's a MIDI piano. It's awful. It's awful. <laughs> It's just, it's just, it's just it's way out where that would tune. It's just, it's, it doesn't even, it doesn't even sync it right with the, with it the, it, it doesn't sync it. It's just go, it's like, yep. You know, what's all that about? Like, Stop it, please. <laughs> so what's the, what's on the hunt then for you, uh, for, for Christmas, for Queen? <coughs> well, I am, I'm actually saving up to get the Queen turntable. Oh, you get, you get the Ragu one. <coughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very pricey. Me. Got a bit of a cold. Uh, very pricey. That is. Oh, you got that last year? Yeah, I uh, remember. Terrible. Who gave it to me? Oh, it's horrible. I haven't got this year. I haven't got this year, though. I don't think. Do you want mine? No. <laughs> Keep it there. Keep it there in Essex. I don't care. Karen oh, is Karen, remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that, that Cavonia is good for you, though. Forget that Cavonia stuff. It's it's good for oh, you. I've been sticking with Lem Sip and Hammer. No, get that, <laughs> get that Cavonia stuff. It's what I used off camera. That's good. So is, uh, that Ga- Ga- is that Gary there in the background? It is Gary, it? yes. Hello, Gary. Hello. 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 <laughs> yeah. Down, yeah. It's down your Hello. Uh, yes, Gary. What does on Radio 2 this Friday? Yes, I, I, I got a message of that actually on Friday. Yes, I won't be here. <laughs> I will. Yeah. I'll see. I'll hear the replay on <coughs> Brian's web, Brian's uh, YouTube site. Uh, but yeah, I'll. Um, oh, it'll be well worth seeing that. I don't know what it's about, but you know, if Roger Brian's going to be there. Then, you know. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hello. Roasty. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, we I'm, can't. I'm... We have. Oh, and we have you on camera as well, which is so yes. cool. So I can see in the background you have got some little items you want to present to us tonight. Yes. That's absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to get... I can't get Alan on the call. I want to... I had Alan, but Alan's gone off. Alan's... 
Jones. Yeah, I, I don't know where Leander is. Uh, uh, as far as I know, he's living in Ir- uh, uh, Ireland uh, right now. But uh, the last time I spoke to him, he was talking about moving again. Mm-hmm. So it uh, would be nice to, to have him, uh, have him uh, on the conversation, but... I haven't talked to him uh, in quite a while. He's oh. he's doing he's doing good. Good, good. I miss that guy. Yeah, he's uh, he's a good he's a good guy and re- really nice. And I really enjoy his company as well. He's really really amazing. Yeah. Right. Why is this so, stone for? Have you seen the new uh, announcement for uh, a night at the Odeon? How much? Yeah, actually, it's very interesting. But me and Mark have just discussed this already. Well, I I uh, dislike the artwork they did. Right. I mean, I mean, Good Queen call. were Queen are four individual members. Where, where mm-hmm. are Roger? Where's John? Where's Brian? Yeah. They did the same with the rainbow uh, uh, box. I'm not very after. I'm not very impressed with the with this at all. Um, well, <laughs> I, from my point of view, I uh, I I I really 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 think that they've done the right mess of it really for us. Yes, they, they really. Did. I think that the artwork sucks from my point of view. They should have just made it a better artwork. Why the hell have got to keep doing this, the mm-hmm. exact replica of what they did from the uh, the uh, live of Budapest one? Gary, you know. Yeah. Why, why do that for? Why? No point. Well, I uh, I want the box that uh, just uh, uh, for the balloons. <laughs> I want those balloons. <laughs> you, you you're not thinking of buying that thing, are you? Uh, no, not no really, way. But, but, uh, 108 well, pound. No you way. You know what? Right. I will we'll buy it. Right. Hey. I will. We'll I will yeah. Just a moment. <laughs> just a minute. <laughs> I've got. I've. I'm. I'm signing it on my. I'm just signing Skype in on my phone right now, because I right. haven't got you on Skype yet. So if you give me, just give me one minute. Uh, no problem. Uh, hang on a sec. Uh, he's just been saying apparently that he doesn't like the artwork for Hammersmith. Well, but I want those balloons. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of the balloons, if I remember rightly, um, yeah. like a naked blow-up woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, go- I'm going to buy the box set, Mark. I'm going to take the balloons out and then send the box, ra- uh, box set right back. <laughs> Are you just going to keep the naked blow-up doll and get yeah. rid of your wife? Get yeah, rid of your of course. Yes. <laughs> You're going to get rid of the missus now. <laughs> no, not really. No, <laughs> no, <Right>. not really. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm going to see if this is going to work first. I'm going to try something. Um, right. I'm going to let me see if this works. All right. Let me. Okay. So... Oh, uh, Gary was typing me a message. He says, "Hi, David. I'm a Queen fan too, and I follow Tezzas Queenvilles on YouTube." Yeah. Yeah, all we do. You all do. Um, yeah, yeah. So we need to. Yeah, sure. oh, I think I might have to. Let me just see. Or do I have to add, <laughs> add Gemma again? So, Mark, how are you doing? Gemma, 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 Gemma. Uh, got a little bit of a flu at the moment. Yeah. But other than that, I'm all right. I'm not too bad. Yourself? Well, I'm. I'm can say I'm fully uh, recovered. Yeah, I heard that you were in the hospital. Yeah, I'm glad for... you're out now anyway. Yeah, for a few days. Well, uh, it was my own my, my own fault really. I was, um, well, how do you uh, how do you say that? You were drunk. Pay, yeah, not paying much attention uh, uh, of signals uh, uh, from my uh, from my body. Uh-huh. You were drunk, in other words. Uh, no, 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 not that. <laughs> but I, I uh, forgot to to drink and eat. Uh, uh, much more than I uh, uh, than I should. I was eating and drinking uh, 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 very less instead of silly uh, boy. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> my um, my body gave me the signal, uh, which was uh, a large amount of pain. So I wound up uh, wound up in the hospital. Well, the main thing is your health is back to normal now, though. Yeah. Yeah, I can say it's uh, it's uh, fully recovered. That's cool. good. Okay, and I'm... that's the main thing. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to drop you now, Gemma, and I'm going to Mark. I'm going to ring you on my phone now. I'm going to see if it's going to work. Right. Go okay. go for it, mate. Just one second. Okay. Right, no Let's drop him a second. 
Okay, it's called you. No, it's okay. You stay there, Gary. You're oh, sorry. We'll just get in touch with uh, Pinky Cakes. We're going to ring him. Ring him now. I don't see uh, vi uh, uh, you uh, both on video. Because I am using Skype. I'm using Expert to record it, obviously, from it. Oh, okay. So I need to. You can see me. Yes. Uh, well, I. I, obviously, yes, I, I, obviously I, this is pretty difficult because obviously I can't hear. Um, he can't. He, he can. He can't hear us talking because I've, I've got this on the the audio, obviously, which is kind of a bit meh. Um, but uh, but anyway, but what I was just showing you, Mark, is very quickly because you were a bit see because you can't hear obviously on this thing. If if you can just move out the way, uh, David, uh, to your right. Uh, I can just show him the preview of this thing because he can't, he can't really obviously see that. Can okay, so can you see that? All right, Mark. Great stuff. Okay, so as you can see, he's got his. Uh, this camera's way out of focus. He's got the vinyls there. And he's got a. Uh, what is that? What's that thing, uh, David? That's the the back of the outer uh, slipcase. Oh, the box set. Yeah. So this is the box set, obviously, mm -hmm. that he's got, which, uh, which, which actually Mark has a few of those, actually. Oh, oh. sweet. That is really, really nice. I had to sell my house and my car for it. I had to sell his house and his car for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's bloody expensive. I, I, can, I can see it's expensive as well. All right, so... Um, <laughs> So is it embossed on the front, or is it just a slipcase itself? No, not uh, this is not uh, embossed. Uh, uh, just uh, a gold uh, lettering uh, slipcase. No, it's not bit not embossed on the front. And it weighs a ton. He says. He says. Have you played it yet? Uh, no, not yet. But um, I heard some uh, good uh, uh, reviews uh, on it. And says, the sound, sound quality. Is uh, as far as I know, uh, stunning. The sound quality is stunning, Mark. He says yeah. apparently he hasn't played it. Not yet. No. But, but I will. But he will. But he will do. All right. So um, that's the so that's the box set he has there. It looks really good indeed. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to just give us a uh, sneak preview of of one of the vinyls that is released? Well, I. I can show you guys the vinyls, but it will take a while, so... Well, just one. Uh, j uh, just one. Just one. Mm -hmm. One that he hasn't got. What, which, one, well, which one do you want to see, um, Mark? Whoops. I will, I, I will show you uh, some of, some of them. Be, I have to see the game. He has to say the game one. The game? Yes, oh, the yeah. game. Oh, yeah. There has been some talk on the game, yes. Yeah. Yes. Here is uh, the game. It it's is. the um, uh, mirrored uh, one. It's the mirrored edition. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. Um, okay. So let's uh, see the artwork so inside. This the is uh, uh, the outer uh, uh, oh. slipcase uh, uh, with yeah. the with the lyrics. Yes, nice one. I'm Beautiful. gonna take uh, uh, the vinyl out. Okay. And you will see there has been some talk about this grey vinyl because of some fluid marbled thing which ah. uh, runs uh, uh, over the vinyl. So apparently there's some fluid, fluid marble vinyl on here. Um, yeah, I'm, but, uh, I'm trying to show it. Yep, okay. And you, you can see it. If you oh, look like to see, yeah. Uh, so. so it's marble vinyl fluid on it, uh, Mark. Yeah. It looks just so. It just looks so. I don't know. Odd. Odd. Yeah. But I had to show you some other ones which are really, really, really nice. Two seconds. What are you saying there, Mark? Sorry, I can't get here. Then. Okay. Uh, Mark, uh, David's just saying to you. David's just saying. Yeah, yeah. Mark saying to you, David. Is it a grey colour or is it a marbled colour? Yeah. So, well, uh, the first thing I was thinking of, because of this weird-looking uh, uh, thing, 
So from uh, maybe it was a uh, production error. It's apparently that was, right. Yeah, that was my uh, very first uh, right. part. Well, apparently, Mark is saying that apparently that it might be a production error. I'm gonna to, uh, gonna show you this one. This okay. is really really nice, and it's also very very glossy. This is Queen Two. Yeah, and a very special one. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I hope I can get it on camera. It is on camera. Can recall yeah, it now. It's, it's a it's a double album uh, this time, side white and side black. Yep. Mm. So here is um, you can see it. <laughs> oh, nice one. Beautiful. Side. Beautiful. You have it in mirrored uh, uh, test or is it? Uh... No, it's actually fine. Okay. It's not mirrored. So this is the white. Yes, this is the white vinyl. And um, well, this is uh, side white. Beautiful. And I'm now trying to get yeah. the B side. I hope the camera picks up on it. Oh, there's no um. Oh, it's because it's obviously like one-sided, obviously. Oh well, I'm gonna uh, get uh, yeah. the black uh, vinyl because there's an etching on uh, on uh, on both of them, the same etching, but you can't see it uh, that good on the white vinyl. So. But what you're saying is, that, uh, Mark, you're saying apparently there's etchings on the vinyl as well. It's the only uh, only Queen mm -hmm. album that has uh, uh, a 3D etching. It's a 3D etching on it. Yeah, and I'm gonna take the the black final mm -hmm. and hoping the camera picks up on it. Should do. So you, so you can see it. It's it looks uh, very cool. So here we have the other one is the black one. The black final. Mm. Yeah, gorgeous. Now, uh, mm. Uh, yes, this that way. So gorgeous. I hope you can see it now. You can, yeah. That's a, that's a black. That's a, that's the one that's etched. Oh, that's hard to. Yeah, see yeah, the queen logos on it. Beautiful. Oh, it's actually pretty, mm. pretty, pretty good on that camera. Mm. You'll see it bigger, obviously, on the video on YouTube when you see it anyway. Mm. But that looks amazing. That's the phoenix. Mm -hmm. It's it's think, hard to pick up yeah, on camera. Yeah. It's very hard, but I mean you can probably get the idea when you when you when you when you blow it in, obviously when you zoom it in on there. Yeah, they did it. Um, I guess uh, Queen has found a new passion for um, for etching uh, uh, all those uh, new records. Yeah. Because they did the same with uh, Queen Forever uh, vinyl box set. Right. Yeah. With uh, with a twelve inch of uh, Let Me In Your Heart Again. Yeah. And that one was uh, etched as well. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's really cool. That's really, cool. really, nice. really nice. Anyway, so Mark, I'll put you back on the Skype now, okay? No problem. Right, see you in a bit. Right, good. So you have, um, hmm. have uh, A Night at the Opera, which is uh, embossed. So nice, the, uh, very nice indeed, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, uh, and I just the, need to, I just need to add him back. Uh, yeah, okay, I I will wait for him. That's it. Invite the group call. That's it. I got him back now. So he's back. What are you drinking tonight? Is he back? Yes, he's back. Okay. Um, well, I, I was uh, preparing um, this uh, for a showcase, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you guys can uh, uh, take sweet, a look at it. Sweet. Um, your well, I'm sure the sound quality will will be good. I have no doubt about that. But um, I dislike the artwork. I think it's bloody horrendous. I mean, I was I was saying saying to Tess the same thing. I mean, yeah. uh, for as far as I know, Queen were always four individual members. Yes, it's always been. The last couple of live releases has all been yeah, oh, let's and stick Freddy on it. Well, I like the rainbow box set, but but why only Freddy uh, 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 on the artwork? Why not uh, uh, show, mm. showing the whole band? Yeah, that's exactly. that's the, something that I really just have a grasp with as well, which is just ridiculous. Yeah. They, they, they seem to be explore, exploring a lot of they're exporting a lot of Freddy and exploring a lot of Freddy. 
on everything that's coming out. I mean, the next DVD release looks really thingy anyway. But why? I mean, it, it, it's, good, it's good that uh, a lot of 70s stones that are now finally are being uh, released, but uh, just put the whole band on the cover, not, uh, not just Freddy. Yeah. I mean, he was always saying in a lot of interviews, uh, I'm not the leader of the band. No. I'm, I'm, I'm just the lead singer. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Uh, yeah. And another, another thing that kind of annoyed me is the fact that they actually put the front of Hammersmith Odin on it. I'm kind of thinking, well, I mean, what's the point in that? Mm. Well, <laughs> it just don't look right. It looks so tacky. They put uh, somebody in charge who's really good with with uh, Photoshop, and they made a bloody mess of it. I've seen better looking bootlegs that have, have better artwork. Yes, yeah. yes, that's true. Totally agree. Totally agree. <laughs> so, um, uh, you want? By the way, Gemma, uh, Mark, can you can you see Leander? Can you see David? I can't see anyone. I, can, I, I, I think I need you. to Yes, I can see your teeth. Uh, <laughs> damn. Yeah, it will be I'll have to sort it all so, out. Okay. Is, it, is this really going to work, Des? I mean, uh, a lot of uh, technical difficulties yeah. just now. The main, I mean, for me, we, me and Tess were talking about uh, the four phases thing. Mm -hmm. and, um, oh, yeah, in the 70s. Yeah, well, I posted just yesterday. M M Monday I did it, actually. This, even the artwork on that looks even better, doesn't it? Tess? Amazing. Mm -hmm. For uh, uh, which one, uh, Mark? Four phases. Four phases in the seventies. Hmm. You've not seen that one yet. Uh, I'm no, I'm not sure. Go no, to my we'll to, right. uh, after the link to after we do this. Yeah, after we do this, go to my Queensville channel and the, my latest Queensville um one was just done this week. It's actually the first thing you'll see posted on on my videos. Uh, it's called um. You never know what you find. Is that uh, is that a bootleg? It's a bootleg. Check okay. it out. Yeah. Check it out. The time, there's, ta well, there's, there's no timelines, I think, on the video, but you can check it anyway. But, um, yeah. So, what, what is Queen doing, really? Uh, uh, releasing concert, concerts in, uh, uh, in, uh, year by year? So yes. Uh, next year, we, we will get Hyde Park? We're getting Hyde Park next year. Yeah, Yeah. there's talks of it. Yes. As I was, I was, as I was saying to uh, Tess earlier, yep. I said there was mentioned early this year of Brixton Academy by Brian May coming out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, supposed uh, to be about time as well. Yes, time has come up. Time has taken too long. With Brian's new albums, we're supposed to be scheduled, scheduled now for next year. Because of the with all the stuff he's done for the the uh, there's other stuff he's done. So maybe we could uh, could get in 2017 uh, a Houston or a, a Earl Scott. Hmm. Yeah, I it, mean, it's a question of which one of them would be released though. Yeah. If they, yeah, if they will continue with the 40th anniversary thing, and um, mm. I mean, next year it will be 40 years ago since the Hyde Park uh, uh, show. Yeah. And in 2017, yeah. uh, Earl's Court and Houston. Yeah. The problem with um, Earl's Court and Houston, they both had um, microphone failures on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure they could... They they could clean it up, I reckon, but yeah. you know what they're like. They kind of, it's the choice of which one they're going to actually re bring out. Exactly. Because I can't see them bring, bringing out both. No. What they might do, they might yeah. bring out Els Court and then do highlights yeah. of yeah. Houston. But what they could do, Mark, if if they have the aud uh, the audio of uh, one of the both shows, they could place the audio over the uh, uh, over the uh, bits. Mm -hmm. Where the microphone uh, was uh, in failure. Yeah, yeah, they could do. Yeah, they could, find that they could do that. Could do that really. Yeah. Now, David, yeah. Um, yeah. just to bring something up that we talked about earlier on was a new Bohemian Rhapsody 40th anniversary that's coming out. Uh, yeah. The Trumpet single. Are you gonna buy it? Well, um, it, it. I just want to know what the artwork's gonna be like. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, it will be. There will be some events uh, starting this weekend. And there will be a brand new documentary on BBC Two uh, uh, next month about the Bohemian Rhapsody single. So but, you but, all, but you we, all, we, yes. But that yes. was shown before. Uh, there was one before, yes, uh, with the 30th 
anniversary yeah. of the single. Are they going to use the same footage again from from going to the studio again? Uh, I'm not sure, uh, but uh, they 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 were talking about a brand new documentary on mm. the uh, Bow Rap uh, single. Yeah, I heard something about this. Apparently, right. there is uh, some new new footage that they've re- the, redone. The, they've managed to get out the vaults. So. Will they have uh, uh, another etching uh, on the back, or is it? Uh, do we get a, a B side? I'm in love. Yeah, we get a B side. Oh, we get a B side. I'm in love with my car, which is the uh, original single mix of it. Well, um, they should uh, get the Dutch uh, release with uh, <laughs> uh, the wrong text with uh, uh, with my car. You never I'm know. You never know. They might, they might do that. <laughs> yeah. If if, uh, I mean, if Holland if Holland EMI wants to do that, then let them do it. Yeah. Be but so a lot of uh, a lot of uh, events um, for the uh, for the bow rap singer will be uh, yeah. going on. Uh, yeah. I guess it would be it would be nice to actually see a nice purple edition on vinyl. That's what the people back. were thinking, considering to do. The EMI was yes, thinking about doing yes. that actually. Uh, I mean, we we have the uh, uh, very very famous blue one, mm-hmm. which we uh, we will never gonna buy because we can pay it. <laughs> you can pay for it. And Six million actually pounds. Could be even, it, would it be weird if it was going to be blue? I'm sure Tess has it uh, in his basement, but but he he is not showing us. I've not got it. I've only got the only version I have. It's just the, the normal single release I bought from when I went to when I went to London. Yeah, um, yeah. Which it was with me when he bought it. Yeah. But Mark it? was talking about a purple version, and uh, one uh, was released in. I believe 2000. it was 1995, a purple... Yes, it was. Up. Yes, yes, 95. It was to commemorate the release of it and all that nonsense yeah, going on. and that's, that's all also yeah. becoming uh, very expensive. Yeah. Um, Eel.com. Best, the best one I saw was was the Goblet ones, and they're £6, six million. Pound. I mean, that's just insane money to buy. Yeah, that's insane, it's yeah. It's just like uh, Eel.com the, wants to make money for that. It's like, come on. The blue one is uh, is going for I believe it was five thousand quid. Yeah, I think Gary Teller's. I think actually Gary Teller's after that one now. He's after that um that that the goblet one. Yeah, you can see in the in the documentary for the bow mm. rap singer that uh, Peter Hintz uh, uh, has one. Yeah, he he's showing uh, at the end. Yes. Yeah. One yeah, he's, I remember what Peter Hintz said. He said this will probably buy a hearing aid for all them times. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Definitely with their music. He got yeah. it from Fred, uh, right? Yes, that's Freddy, right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For Freddy personally gave from Freddie West was. And there were there were uh, two uh, two hundred uh, 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 copies pressed. Yes. At the factory is a. Special... So I think you have to sell you sell your house uh, really? uh, be- uh, before you can buy yeah. it. It's just somebody. If I if I ever get a chance to get a, to get a screenshot of it or a print screen of that of that goblet thing, I'll post it on the bloody my bloody Facebook page. So well, it, it uh, there are plenty of pictures uh, 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 of the of the blue vinyl, but mm. uh, as far as <laughs> we can have it, will uh, it go to charity? This uh, twelve inch, do you know? They're Ooh, thinking about putting it to the Phoenix. I think they're going to, it's going to the Mercury Phoenix Trust. Actually, I think that's one. I thought out. it would I do. Think it is, and it's. Uh, and in my point of view, I think it's it's a good decision to do that because it's for AIDS anyway, and. Yes, which is still got to be thingied. Because if you, you remember you when they've done it for the the nineteen ninety one uh, memorial release. Well, so then. I'm uh, I'm curious about uh, 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 what the vinyl is going to look like. It's either going to be blue or purple, I reckon. Oh, uh, then then I would go for blue. Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see on Queen Queen Online and see if what well, Queen Online has uh, anything to say about it. See what going well, to if you go uh, go now there, uh, Tess, you will see. Uh, did you know facts on uh, uh, the bow rap single? Oh, I know about. I've I've, I've done that already. I, yeah, I know about that. It's just, it's just all like stop it. <laughs> so you guys not uh, gonna go for the uh, night at the Odeon uh, box set? Hundred eight pound. Uh, too expensive. I might go for the vinyl. You know me. Yeah. Vinyl yeah, versions. Twenty nine ninety nine. Very cheap. I want um, the balloons. I'm going to go for the vinyl. Yeah. Looks, I, I looks, want the balloons. The looks I don't edition. think I'll even bother. I don't think I'll even bother with the DVD, you know. Well, I'm just gonna, I'll, I'm for just my safety's sake, it. I'll download it and watch it. I won't buy it. Well, yeah, I'm just going to torrent it. I'm going to torrent it myself. The thing I hate is uh, that uh, uh, the video crew left uh, uh, before Queen uh, uh, came back to do uh, uh, a second encore. Yeah. So... 
yeah the video crew already left That's but right. uh we will get those tracks on oh yeah cd yes. yes and if you're gonna buy the box set mm -hmm. you will get one or two tracks from a rehearsal which i've never never heard before yeah apparently a bowie and rhapsody and now i'm here Yes, and there is also a never before seen documentary with about the Odeon. Yeah, with the band mm. on the old grey whistle test. Never seen that uh, as well. No. It that's something I need uh, we need to uh we need to I need to bring up the, next time on Queensville next week. Um next one's scheduled up next Monday. Um and I'll I'll definitely will have to bring that up. Um or if you guys are watching this replay anyway on YouTube and yeah. Yeah, but you already heard they, the first exclusive. <laughs> What they should do for the next release, yep. get the whole band on the front cover, not just only Freddie, like they did with the uh, with Rainbow and now the Odeon. Yeah. I mean, do it Queen like, is four. Do it like Freddie, like Queen, Queen Forever was brilliant. That's a band. Yeah, yeah. Well, they've done it for every live release, haven't they, really? Because yep. when you think about it, they've done it for uh, Rock Montreal. Mm -hmm. They've done it for Fred, um, yes. Live at the Bowl. And then yep. they've done it again for the rainbow one yeah. and now with this one david um we were just yeah. saying before we were we came on to do this tonight which we were not we weren't planning it um we were talking about talking about this video you might have saw that live in caracas um, queen live in caracas yeah uh, uh there is a uh, new bootleg uh, of it or? yes and uh, uh, the quality has uh, been quality improved? is amazing and the yeah. audio is raw i have seen I believe it was on the Queen of uh, official page, mm -hmm. some uh, videos of it. Yeah. So could that be signs of a possible <coughs> uh, release? If, if it ever gets off the ground, I mean, I mean, Mark saw about ten minutes footage of it and he likes it. Um, it links on my page actually. Um, uh, uh, yeah. It's raw. It's it's all uncut. It's not being edited. It has. It looks like it has been spliced a bit because of the because of the, the way it's been filmed. But the way uh, that it's been done, it's. It's professionally been done with two cameras yeah, on it. I, I don't know who was saying it, but someone over at the Queen Camp say was uh, they were they were tired with the 80s stuff. So now they were uh, uh, really uh, uh, focusing on the uh, 70s uh, stuff. One thing I want to know is, will this ever, ever happen? Is Nebworth? Will it ever get out? <sighs> There's been talk for years now. I mean, uh, so far we only have seen uh, 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 a guy pointing a camera at uh, one of yeah, the side uh, screens yeah. it will never be released on vi video footage no but i i, I think <laughs> as i say i have heard bits of it he has on, three tracks you heard exclusively on, on classic rock why is it that they had a first promotion of that cd and i've never ever seen it on discogs at all but had it rock broadcasted three tracks from it they mm -hmm. broadcasted mm -hmm. tear it up which mm -hmm. was all uncut mm -hmm. And then they uh, broadcasted another one, Bites of Dust, yep. which was all uncut. Yep. And then Radio Gaga. Yep. And and you also have the Under Pressure Nepworth uh, uh, version, yep. with, uh, which is on the uh, Under Pressure Raw Mix uh, yep. CD. <coughs> you know what I would do? So we have four. You know what I would do, Mark? Yeah. I would just go to Universal and ask them. Well, I, I think... I think, if I remember rightly, I think I told you this as well, Ted, didn't I? Mm. That there Maybe. was a, a like a plain white disc saying yep. Queen Live at Nebworth, yep. um, like teasers, a teaser. Oh CD, yeah, you told me this um, when I was down in London. Yeah, when I was down the your house, your the old house. Yes. Yeah. You, you, and it's like a white CD. You anyway, mentioned it to me and... when we were somewhere we at the Astoria. Yeah. We're so I, think, I think these were the ones that Brian May gave to Planet Rock mm. to broadcast. Oh, so, so uh, it says it's soundboard. No, yeah, it's all no. soundboard from the uh, from the um, uh, from the uh, master tape or. No, it sounds like it's a proper master tape. It's been a soundboard it's, recording. It's it's not a uh, it's. I mean, obviously, we know that Planet Rock's of his pop. And Brian May owns it now, anyway, but um, I think. Um, if that was just to, if that was just a deal that he just said, yeah, sample this. So so can we be one hundred percent sure that there that the last ever Queen uh, concert has been filmed or not? I mean, it is the last ever. So 
it's hard to say. Uh, I mean, if you keep looking back at that footage again, the camera is on the stage or beside yeah. the stage. Um, there's got to be footage of existence of that Well, somewhere. I did speak to um, Jim Jenkins about this, and he said that apparently they did film it, but apparently they went over the tapes over it. Uh, I mean, it's a very special concert, so they mm. sh uh, should at least uh, have filmed it. Yeah. Apparently, Mannheim was filmed. And, and, and yeah, was... maybe Freddie already knew that uh, that was uh, going to be his last ever uh, live uh, concert. Mm. Well, you know the Germany concert, Mannheim? Yeah. Yes. That was actually filmed. That, that was filmed uh, as a All pro. All the way through. Uh, as a pro, yeah. pro edition, yeah. They done like it, what they actually done, they done a yeah. tester. Uh, I've, I've got a website that actually tells you this, actually. Mm -hmm. They've done a tester for the Budapest show. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they've done like a test on one of the uh, shows in Germany, right. and that was Mannheim. Yeah. So there okay. is full footage of the Mannheim concert. Hmm. There's, there's, there's another thing that we were talking about, uh, about the artwork, about Hunga uh, Hungarian Rhapsody. Oh. Again, only Freddie uh, on, uh, on the cover. Yeah, you know that, what? I, yeah, I have to I say something, one, yeah. honestly. And all, all uh, Queensville viewers watching this video, you will probably start um, nagging me for this. I have to say something, right? I didn't like the release of Hungarian Rhapsody at all. It was no, a I don't think I did. Job. I didn't like the DVD of it anyway. It's oh, bloody awful. It was all bloody shit. Yeah, the only but... thing I did like was the CD version. They should uh, 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 show the whole ba uh, uh, the full band on uh, on the artwork, and not just only Freddie. That that's my yeah. opinion. Yeah, the, that's that's the only thing that I, that's any grasp I have. Yeah, and 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 if they not want to do that, just place the Queen logo and uh, and the Queen text on top, mm -hmm. and the Queen logo uh, at give the bottom, some, like they just give uh, it some. Yeah, like they did uh, uh, with the box set. Yep. I mean, uh, uh, just uh, do that. But mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I like the rainbow uh, uh, box set that very much, but the artwork is another story. Yeah. So to end this uh, conversation, final thoughts of uh, well, you, you're, you're, that Queen collection you have there behind you, David, is amazing. So thanks for sharing that tonight.